Welcome to O'Reilly Maths. Uh, this video is on social distancing and why it's important in um, reducing the spread of coronavirus COVID-19. So this is a look at the maths behind that idea. So we have this graph here which I've taken from the Vox website and you can see here on the y-axis we have the number of cases, uh, the number of cumulative cases. Uh, I've done another video on cumulative frequency to help you understand that idea. So this is the total number of cases, um, the total number of cases uh, that have occurred, and this is on the x-axis, the number of days going by. So this is your time axis here. Now this is a model, this isn't from uh, any particular country, okay, so this is theoretical, but it's just to illustrate the idea, I think it does it quite well. So if the red curve here, curve here represents the growth, uh, the spread of the virus if there's no social distancing happening. If you're going out, meeting your friends as usual, and doing the things you normally do, this represents what happens. So the curve, the number of cases increases more and more each, each day as time goes by. Okay, if you do introduce uh, some social distancing, so say at day 20, now they've said here, see this black curve here? So say at day 20 you do in introduce some social distancing. So they say day n plus 20. Okay, so day n is back here, it's some random day. Some people get confused by that n business, but that's just day n there. This is day n plus 5. So at day n plus 20, so after 20 days here, if you do, if we go up here, you can see at this point, the black curve breaks from the red curve. So if you introduce social distancing, it begins to flatten the curve. Uh, flattening the curve is, we've done another video on that idea as well. But you can see here that the as time goes by, the number of cases is, is not as steep. It's not as increasing as much as the red uh, curve. Now, if you introduce social distancing just one day after that, so day n plus 21, so that's one day after day n plus 20, somewhere around here, you can see the it gives you this blue curve that breaks off after the um, it breaks off from the red curve here, and you get this. Now that's only one day. You might think that's not such a big deal. And you can see the distance even on the x-axis here between the two days is not that much, but because it's happening at a point here, because it's happening at a point on the red curve, it's happening at a point where there's the red curve is very steep. So see this bit here? This is so steep that even just one day creates a, a much bigger, uh, like a very big difference between the blue and the black curve here. So 40% more cases can result from delaying social distancing just by one day. Now again, this is just a model, but it il illustrates the point well, okay? So you can see here, by the time you get to this day 30 something, uh, the difference is 40%. Okay, now you might say, where are they getting this 40% from? Well, that would be if we just go over here. So if you go there, that's about 40,000 or just above. And then if you go from here over. So what's the difference here between uh, these two points on the y axis? Well, we see here you're at about 40,000, and here you're probably at about 58,000, let's say. So what's the difference between 40 and 58? Well, that's 18,000. So 18,000 um, eight, that's 18,000 more in the n plus 21 case than the n plus 20 case. 18,000 over 40,000. If we express that fraction and then multiply it by 100, we will get the percentage uh, increase. So if we get our calculator out, we can do that. So 18,000 over or divided by 40,000 
is 0.45 times by 100. So 45%, let's say. So they're saying 40% here. Obviously, um, my lines aren't exact, and I was guessing the number here, 58,000, but you get the idea. It was close enough, and this illustrates why social distancing is so important, but also why it's important to introduce it early on. If you don't introduce it early, you can get big increases in the number of cases as time goes by.